Is the F-35 really worse than the F-22 in older aircraft? That's the question that has been causing turbulence in the aviation world. And today, we're here to explore this interesting debate. The F-35 and the F-22 are both state-of-the-art aircraft designed and built by the same company, Lockheed Martin. They represent the pinnacle of aviation technology, and yet they're often pitted against each other in a battle of superiority. But can we really compare these two marvels of engineering? Or are we trying to compare the uncomparable? The F-35 is the younger sibling, designed to be a multi-role fighter with an emphasis on stealth and sensor fusion. On the other hand, the F-22 is the elder, designed as an air superiority fighter with a focus on speed and maneuverability. Both aircraft have their strengths and weaknesses, and they were designed with different missions in mind. But that doesn't stop the comparisons. The controversy surrounding this comparison is not without reason. After all, we're talking about two of the most advanced aircraft in the world. So what are the key performance indicators that we should be looking at? Well, there are a few. Speed, maneuverability, stealth, and a few other factors. Speed is a crucial factor in any air combat. The faster an aircraft can fly, the quicker it can reach its target, and the harder it is to hit. But speed isn't everything. There's also maneuverability, the ability of the aircraft to change direction quickly and efficiently. This is especially important in dogfights, where the ability to outmaneuver an opponent can mean the difference between life and death. Then there's stealth, the ability to stay hidden from enemy radar. Stealth technology is a major selling point for both the F-35 and the F-22. But how do they compare? And what about other factors like payload capacity, range, and cost? These are all questions that we'll be exploring in this video series. We'll examine each performance indicator in detail and see how the F-35 stacks up against the F-22 and older aircraft. So buckle up, folks, because this is going to be a thrilling ride. Stay tuned as we delve into these performance indicators one by one. Let's kick things off with speed, a critical factor in any aircraft's performance. Speed in the world of aviation isn't merely about who's got the fastest bird in the sky. Sure, the bragging rights are nice, but speed is really about practicality. It's about mission range, response time, and the ability to outmaneuver adversaries. Consider the F-35, often criticized for its top speed of around Mach 1.6. That's roughly 1,200 miles per hour. Now, compared to the F-22's Mach 2.25, or roughly 1,700 miles per hour, it may seem like the F-35 is lagging behind. But speed isn't just about raw numbers. Let's bring in some perspective from the past. The F-4 Phantom, an iconic aircraft from the Cold War era, had a top speed of Mach 2.2. That's on par with the F-22, yet no one would argue that the F-4 could outperform the F-22 in today's combat scenarios. Why? Because speed is also about how quickly an aircraft can reach its top speed, how long it can maintain it, and how efficiently it can use fuel at that speed. The F-35, for instance, can supercruise, maintain supersonic speed without afterburner, longer than the F-4 Phantom, giving it a practical advantage. Speed also impacts mission range. The faster an aircraft can go, the farther it can travel within a given time frame. This means a faster response to threats and a wider area of operation. However, it's a delicate balance. Going faster can also burn through fuel more quickly, reducing the overall mission range. In essence, speed is a complex equation of multiple factors, not just a simple foot race in the sky. It's about finding the optimal balance of distance, time, and fuel efficiency. And in that respect, the F-35 holds its own against its predecessors and contemporaries. As we can see, speed is more complex than just boasting the highest numbers. Now, Let's talk about maneuverability, the art of air combat. Maneuverability is a multifaceted concept in aviation. It's not just about how tight your aircraft can turn. It's also about how quickly it can climb, how well it can maintain control at high angles of attack, and how effectively it can use thrust vectoring to perform complex maneuvers. Let's start with the F-35. This aircraft is a marvel of modern engineering. Its turn radius is impressive allowing it to make tight turns that leave older aircraft struggling to keep up. Its climb rate is nothing short of phenomenal, enabling it to reach high altitudes swiftly. Plus, the F-35 is one of the few aircraft that can use thrust vectoring to perform maneuvers that seem to defy the laws of physics. Now let's look at the F-22 Raptor. This aircraft is a legend in the realm of maneuverability. 
Its turn radius, climb rate, and thrust vectoring capabilities are all top-notch. It's like a dancer in the sky, able to spin, twist, and turn with a grace and precision that leaves spectators awestruck. But what about older aircraft? Well, let's take the F-16, for instance. It was once the epitome of maneuverability. Its turn radius and climb rate were the best of its time, and it could perform some pretty impressive maneuvers. But compared to the F-35 and F-22, it's like comparing a sports car to a race car. The F-16 is still a formidable aircraft, but it just can't compete with the newer models when it comes to maneuverability. So, how important is maneuverability in modern air combat? Well, in the past, air combat was often a game of cat and mouse, with pilots trying to outmaneuver each other to get a clear shot. But with the advent of advanced missile technology, the importance of maneuverability has arguably diminished. However, it's still a critical factor, especially in close quarters combat. So, just how important is maneuverability in modern air combat? Stick around to find out. Next up is Stealth, the silent killer in the sky. Stealth in aviation is not just about keeping quiet. It's about vanishing from the enemy's radar and minimizing your infrared signature. In the world of aerial warfare, stealth is akin to donning an invisibility cloak. Let's talk about the F-35 and F-22, two of the stealthiest aircraft in the skies today. These flying marvels boast some of the lowest radar cross-sections in the world. This means they reflect a minimal amount of radar waves back to the enemy, making them incredibly hard to detect. The F-35, in particular, is a master of deception. Its radar cross-section is reportedly the size of a golf ball. This means, when an enemy radar looks up at the sky, all they see is this tiny speck, if they see anything at all. Now imagine trying to hit that with a missile. It's like trying to hit a golf ball with a baseball bat in a pitch-black room. Now, let's turn our attention to the F-22. This bird is no less impressive. Its angular design and radar-absorbing materials make it a ghost in the sky. Its radar cross-section is even smaller than that of the F-35, comparable to a bumblebee. But what about infrared signature? After all, modern heat-seeking missiles don't rely on radar. They track the heat emitted by an aircraft's engines. Both the F-35 and F-22 have been designed to minimize this heat signature. Their engines are buried deep within the airframe and the exhaust is cooled before it leaves the aircraft, making it harder for heat-seeking missiles to lock on. Compare this to older aircraft, many of which light up on radar and infrared like Christmas trees. They might have been formidable in their time, but in the face of modern stealth technology, they stand little chance. Stealth is a game-changer in modern warfare, but is it the be-all and end-all? That's what we'll tackle in our next segment. But before we do, remember to like this video and hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all things aviation. We've compared speed, maneuverability, and stealth. Now let's answer the question. Is the F-35 really worse than the F-22 and older aircraft? Let's take a little jog down memory lane. We've learned that the F-35 may not be the fastest bird in the sky, but it compensates with its advanced engine design and fuel efficiency. It can sustain high speeds for longer periods, which can be crucial in modern warfare. When it comes to maneuverability, we've seen that while the F-22 might outdo the F-35 in a traditional dogfight, the F-35 holds its own with advanced avionics and sensor fusion technology. It's not just about turning tight corners anymore. It's about having the awareness and the strategic information to outsmart your opponent. Stealth, the silent killer, is an area where the F-35 shines. With its smaller radar cross-section and advanced electronic warfare capabilities, the F-35 can slip past enemy defenses unnoticed striking where it hurts the most before disappearing into thin air. But it's not just about comparing these categories in isolation. The role of the aircraft and the nature of modern warfare can drastically influence which performance indicators are considered most important. The F-35, with its multi-role capabilities, is designed not just to fight, but to dominate the battlefield in a wide range of missions. So, is the F-35 really worse than the F-22 and older aircraft? As with many things in life, the answer isn't so black and white. It's not just about being the fastest, the most agile, or the stealthiest. It's about being the most adaptable, the most versatile, the most capable in a wide range of scenarios. And in that regard, the F-35 certainly holds its own. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more intriguing aviation content. Let's continue to explore the fascinating world of aviation together.